The chances are high that you've heard of the term looking at the big picture. It means we are taking a step back from what we are doing or what we already know and taking a moment to think why. Why is this important? What purpose does this serve? And that's what constant maps do. They don't say why, they show why. Why isn't Pluto a member of the solar system anymore? Why does Lucidchart love talking about doggo so much? And more importantly, why is TikTok going to be the next Vine? With concept maps, we just don't imagine the big picture. We can actually make one. So what's a concept map? A concept map is a typographic organizer, AKA a diagram. It helps us take a single concept, break it down, and understand all the parts that make up that concept. It's a way to map and visualize our understanding about a big idea. So breaking it down here, the big idea is the U.S. Constitution. In order to understand the Constitution better, we break it into smaller parts, like the three branches of government. And those branches have their parts. The legislative branch represents Congress, which makes up the Senate and House of Representatives. The executive branch has the President, who is over the Vice President and Cabinet. The judicial branch is led by the Supreme Court, whose authority these lower courts answer to. These branches are separate, but they all interact with each other. We'll talk about these lines later. We can keep breaking these parts down if we wanted to, but for now this is good. Constant maps can extend off into the distance forever, or break into only two parts. But the important thing is that you are able to come away from looking at one with a better visual understanding of how that concept operates. We pulled this template from Lucidchart to show you what a basic model of a concept map looks like. You've got your main concept, the components that are part of that main concept, their subcomponents, and these connecting lines that define their relationships. Let's say you have an assignment on the solar system and want to use a constant map to study. So what do we do about Pluto then? Take a look at how we can use these lines to help explain complex relationships like good old Pluto here. Pluto is now considered a dwarf planet. We can include that in celestial bodies, but by connecting these lines and labeling them, we can also show that Pluto used to be considered part of the outer planets before NASA decided it was time to break up in 2006. We miss you, Pluto. But don't worry, folks. Pluto went out and got that sweet revenge body and is out there living its best life 3,670,092,055 miles away from the sun. At this point, we should know what a concept map is. How do we make one in Lucidchart? There are two ways we can. The first option is that we can use a template. The other option is to build one from scratch. We'll show you how to do both. Let's start by finding that template we saw earlier. To find this template along with others, go to lucidforeducation.com. Click on Assignment Creator. Type Concept Map in the search bar and click on the option that says Concept Map Template. Here it is. Now you can enter in your information by double-clicking on the lines or shapes. A nice thing about using templates is that you are free to edit them as much as you like. Now we'll show you how to build a concept map from scratch and finish this lesson off by making one about the solar system again. Click on Document to open a blank diagram. Using Lucidchart to create a concept map or any graphic organizer is easy. Start by dragging shapes out from the left toolbox out into the canvas. Double-click to change the text inside the shapes. To create lines to connect our shapes, hover over a shape and make these red dots appear. Click on them and drag away from the shape. Double-click anywhere on a line to add text. You can customize your shapes and lines using the properties bar. And those are the basics of making concept maps in Lucidchart. Again, concept maps are a great way to visualize everything that goes into making up a main topic. Next time you're confused on a subject or need a way to study for an exam, use Lucidchart to build yourself a way to ace.